Good morning, it's Sunday, October 8th. Lucky 8th, my favorite number in the whole wide world. It's 11.17 in the morning. And this message is for the United Nations, for President Trump, our current president, and our unofficial president, Joseph Robin F. Biden. Um, this speech is in replacement of the United Kingdom's absence in the General Assembly last month at the United Nations. Our Prime Minister and any leader in the United Kingdom chose not to attend due to the incompetency of the leadership of the President of the United States of America, Joseph R. Biden. The United Kingdom has always proven efficient leadership that promotes a better quality of life for each of our residents. We have tackled many issues that even the United States lack from. A very low crime rate, a steady economy, a current steady currency our currency rate steady, but in a, a, increasing at a positive rate. A prestigious educational system. Our racial injustices are non-existent in the United Kingdom. Poor leaderships from our elected officials is not tolerated. The mission of our royal sovereign monarchy is to promote a safe and innovative nation with a, which accommodates every single demographic. The United Kingdom is not an emperor of dictator, dictatorships or dictator rules, but that enjoys the flexibility our citizens enjoy, the respect that citizens hold for one another, the hard work every single person gives makes, makes it a better present day and a better tomorrow and a better future. The United Kingdom has remained allies with almost every single co country and nation throughout the, con the seven continents and throughout the test of time. The United Kingdom does, like, does not like to intermingle in the internal conflicts of internal nations and the need and need and give when it's needed, when not when it's not needed. But we are a nation that supports each nation in need, gives our knowledge and advice when needed, send immediate relief promptly when asked, no matter our differences, beliefs or customs, we are an empire of resolutions for all peace offerings are what we do best. But one thing that the United Kingdom does stand for is to participate in an assembly with a, would not participate in an assembly with a man who does not respect the United Kingdom, the government process of the parliament, and the royal family. The United Kingdom remains amicable with the United States of America, but our relations with him, President Joe Biden, and the United States are broken right now. Our prime minister, members of the parliament, and the royal family are breaking are breaking all ties with the United States government. Immediately as the president continues to ignore the plea of all world leaders, the American people to resign from office and the royal family, due to his birthplace in Greater Britain and the country of Ireland, which you must be born in the United States territory to run, become, or cheat to be president of the United States of America. The United Kingdom is the leading example of democracy to show all nations that we at most promote peace by following and abide the laws regulations imposed by the United Nations, every country's justices and electoral systems. The United Kingdom once speaks when needed in due time and when we only speak, we speak the truth. We don't condone the injustices, breaking of the law, the xenophobia, the fascism, racism, prejudicism, bias, incompetency, but most of all, we stand against a humanitarian crisis. Mr. Joe Biden remains any longer in the if he remains any longer at the White House, a, human, a huge humanitarian crisis will escalate at a fast pace. On Monday morning, the Parliament will start to implement sanctions at the United States of America. Remember, the United Kingdom will always be at the disposable and need of every nation around the world and every world citizen. We believe and bring world peace. Thank you kindly, Prince John II.